What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow, we are talking about data operations, and I'm going to show you the filter array data operation. So, what does filter array do? Filter array allows you to select or to filter um, and select a particular record or a particular sort of uh, object in an array. So we're going to show that now. So if you watched one of my last videos on how to parse JSON, we're going to kind of carry on from there. So we're in Microsoft Flow here. We are initializing a variable, which is an array, and the array is in JSON. Then we're going to parse that JSON with um, the schema that it's got. And then after that, we're going to filter that array. So if we click on new step, go to built-in, go to data operations, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose filter array. So it's asking me uh, what array I want to filter. So in this instance, I want to filter the parse JSON that we had earlier. So we choose the body from the parse JSON. So it's the um, basically the output of what we are parsing. And then in the uh, value, we can see that the parse JSON allows me to select the individual objects from the array. So we've got things like email address, we've got things like first and last. So we can choose one of these to then filter the array on. So if I choose filler first, and then if we get a name from the initialized variable, so the first name is Dean and the second name is Keith. So we choose Dean. So we say it's equal to Dean. Now in the middle, we have all the standard data operators uh, in here. So you can choose is Dean, is not Dean, contains, starts with, etc., etc. And I'll click save and we're going to choose test. So I'll perform the trigger. We run the flow, click done. See, it ran successfully. So uh, we come down here to filter the array and we see the inputs that we're getting. So we're getting the whole JSON object. So we're getting uh, this uh, this data, this, sorry, JSON array, in this data and this data. And then the output that we're getting is we're just pulling through all the data related to where first equals Dean. So that is a really powerful tool, especially if you may be getting a lot of inputs from your arrays. So maybe from a, a web API call and you just want to get a specific chunk of that array, a specific sort of object inside that array, that's where this will come in useful. So you can then uh, take that data and do other things with it. So you can say, right, well, I filter the array I'm going to use the output of this filtered array to then create a record or to do an action from here. So it's really, really powerful. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time.